Hey guys, this is Andre, and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Hey guys, this is Andre, and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. As you can tell, this is my 1000 subscriber face reveal. So, it'll be pretty interesting to see what you guys actually say in the comments down below, whether my face actually goes with my voice and whatnot, but yes, this is my face. This is the man behind Andre Clash of Clans and more. I only want to talk to you guys about three different things. The first thing being the 1,000 subscribers that I have, the second thing being my girlfriend in the intro, and the third thing being the video that I'm going to have at the end of this. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the 1,000 subscribers that have been following me. You guys are awesome. It's all because of you guys that I have 1,000 subscribers. You guys are so positive with your comments. You like all my videos and you share it with your friends and clanmates, which really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate it. I do this more for like fun and a hobby. I might even enjoy making videos for Clash of Clans more than playing Clash of Clans, which is, which is pretty funny to me. So I really appreciate all of you guys giving me positive feedback and helping my channel grow because without you guys, I definitely wouldn't be here. So make sure to leave a thumb up for that. Also, I wanted to talk to you about my girlfriend that's in the intro. We thought it'd be pretty funny to have her in the intro and then me voice over and you guys like, wait a second, I thought Andre was a dude. Is he not a dude? And then, you know, just kind of like one of those things that keeps you guessing. The third thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is my video at the end of this. So I'm going to have a regular kind of video where I'm farming and then I'm going to have a face cam on the bottom left or bottom right. I'm not actually sure because I've never really done a face cam with this so I don't know if it's mirrored or if it flips. So that'll be pretty interesting to see and I'll have to actually collaborate that into a video and make it for you guys. But that's really it for this intro and let's actually get to the content so here we go Woo! all right guys and we are back as you can tell i am on my town hall 9 and we are going to be farming some town hall 8s we're going to have two replays on my town hall 9 and we're going to have two replays on my town hall 8 both of them are going to be in silver league so let's break this down and see how this goes i mean the best kinds of bases you can find right now as a town hall 9 are going to be town hall 8 bases in silver league honestly that's where i love to farm um i find so many of these bases that are just dead and you can just easily g barge them it doesn't take that much time to make these troops and it's very 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 efficient because you have the giants there to, to actually just tank for all of your other troops you have your royals that you're going to send in and you basically barge behind them you break into the core of the base, take all of their loot, and that's actually if they have stuff in the core. A lot of the stuff sometimes is just on the outside of the collectors, but if you need to break in, that's why I like this uh, troop combination, it's so versatile. I always love to throw rage spells down and heal spells just for fun, because, you know, why not? I like to actually have fun while I play Clash of Clans, not be like super efficient with farming. I mean, I like to be efficient, but... When you can throw a heal spell down or rage spell and it'll actually help you out for the raid, I like to do that. And at this point, I'm pretty much 50% of the way through. I just sent in a lot of more archers, a lot of more, a lot more archers, and I'm pretty much taking over this base. There's no more defenses on this side where these archers are just taking all that gold storage. Um, I have my archer queen in the middle, a whole bunch of giants on the bottom, and this raid is pretty much over. There's only one more defense left and my Archer Queen is still up, I have a whole bunch of Giants, and this is exact- oh, I forgot about the Mortar on the outside, but this is why I like this troop combination, because it's so versatile and you can attack pretty much any base, even if you're just going to barge it. You can send your Giants in and then use Barch behind them, so it's a little bit more tanky. Alright, let's go on to the second clip. So this second clip is a doozy. Got a Town Hall 10 with a lot of resources in the middle, but also resources in the pumps. As you can tell, he has 3,000 Dark Elixir, and a lot of it are actually in these pumps right here. So I'm first gonna be attacking from this side, I'm gonna break in right here. This is why I love these, uh, this troop combination, because it is so versatile. You can attack pretty much any base, especially Town Hall 8s. Uh, Town Hall 9s you can attack pretty well, but this guy doesn't have Expos, he does not have Inferno Towers or anything. So it's really easy to attack these guys down in here in Silver League. And they have a ton of loot, as you can see. So what I like to do is clear some of the buildings along the outside if I can, and then make sure to check for bombs. Got one bomb, got two bombs, and then I think I was checking for another bomb over here, but there wasn't any. So 
you start your attack, you just bring in your golems, not your golems, sorry, your giants, barbarians, archers, so it's kind of like barching, you bring in your wall breakers, throw them in there, use a rage if you can, get them in there faster, plus they break through walls because they do extra damage, throw in your royals, throw in some goblins, throw in your CC, I had a couple wizards in there, because of my actual, uh, my clan mates, which are awesome, they always give me wizards, and I am just destroying this base. Look how fast we're just going through this. This is only two times speed, but using a heal spell or rage spell just makes you rush through a base so quickly and you get all of this insane loot. It's pretty cool. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out my G-Barge video. It explains this more in detail. And I just lost a ton of archers right there from that giant bomb. That was pretty insane. So I actually used two rage spells and one heal spell, but that definitely accounted for because I got 357,000 elixir. 3,000 dark elixir. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That's that's pretty good for a raid. I didn't actually want to have that jump spell, but uh, it worked out in the end. Alright, so let's go on to my Town Hall 8 account where I'm going to show you another two replays. So this, look at this. There is a ton of loot down here. I have 316,000 gold. 220,000 elixir, 264,000 gold, 156 elixir, 195, 192, 330, sorry, 303, 406, uh, don't look at that one, I dropped trophies for that, 177, 233, 205, 156, 285, 63, and 410 and 408. So I'm going to be showing you this replay right here, which is pretty insane. This is a stacked base. This Town Hall 8 has a ton of loot. 800,000 resources plus 846 Dark Elixir. 846 Dark, Dark Elixir isn't that great. I've had some other ones that I actually have recorded previously. And I have a whole bunch of raids actually that I have recorded previously with 2k, 3k Dark Elixir, but can't really do a face cam with those since they're already recorded, or at least I don't know how to. So we're going to show you this one. So the first thing you're always going to want to do is take out buildings that you can without losing troops so that your troops can actually be funneled into the core of the base. Um, this is pretty standard uh, G-Barch. This base is pretty easy, doesn't have any expos or anything like that. The mortars aren't actually upgraded, the wizard towers aren't upgraded. He only has two out of the three. Uh, wizard towers, so that's pretty nice. We don't have to deal with that much splash damage Take out some buildings use your uh, giants to actually break into the core use some wall breakers I probably should have thrown a rage down right there uh, just to help them get into the base But I think I throw it down in a couple of seconds My giants are just kind of going back and forth since I didn't actually get them into the core but with my king in there and all these archers that I'm sending in now, you kind of just want to sprinkle them in so they're not all dying from splash damage. I noticed that my giants are getting a little low here, so I'm going to throw a heal spell down on them pretty quick, I think. I throw a rage spell down in the middle for all of those troops because those troops are going straight into the middle where all of those resources are. Throw a heal spell down on those giants so they can get healed up and actually tank for the rest of my troops that I have left standing. I don't think I had that many troops left, but I keep on funneling in from the top. That uh, Wizard Tower is doing a whole bunch of damage to all of my archers and barbarians. I'm still surprised my king is up at this point, and I have a couple of barbarians around the outside just kind of picking up those uh, gold mines and elixir pumps. And this raid is pretty much over. I uh, left it 99% because I'm not really worried about cups, but that was a pretty good raid, and you find these raids a lot. So. If you guys haven't already, make sure to check out Silver League because you find these raids all the time. It only takes like two, five minutes maybe to search. And it's definitely worth it if you're doing G-Barch, Bag, uh, Bam, or just all archers. You make a ton of loot, especially if you're boosting. I haven't had time to boost or do anything like that, so I've just been attacking whenever I can. Every couple of hours, maybe every six hours or something like that. But guys, I really appreciate uh, you sticking around to the end of this video. And I'm going to have a couple of funny clips at the end of this with all the uh, screw-ups that I had, all the funny stuff that I had in my girlfriend uh, screwing up, and I'm going to have a little thing for all of you guys that commented, congrats on 1,000 subscribers, because I really appreciate you guys, all the people that commented for the 1,000 subscriber mark, 
definitely have been around for a long time. So I want to give a shout out to you guys because I really appreciate you guys. But that's it for the video, guys. So make sure to take care and have a good one. All right, guys. Peace.